aurora, the meaning of that word is dawn, and it also describes bright lights in the north. Red-legged frogs, their Latin name is Rana aurora, and it got its name because of its translucent red hind legs. They're a beautiful frog found in, in the Pacific Northwest. Our Arasha conservation science team has been exploring different wetlands to see whether red-legged frogs were laying their eggs there. We've established our study to 11 consistent sites. We monitor the water quality, then we count any amphibian egg masses we see. And then we also collect habitat data about the dominant vegetation around each wetland and the percent cover of invasive species, also the depth of the wetland. The reason why we're collecting these data is to assess the population of red-legged frogs in this area and to monitor the change over time. They're considered special concern federally and considered threatened provincially. Red-legged frogs spend most of their time in forest habitat and they migrate every year to wetlands to lay their eggs and breed and we've been monitoring that part of their life cycle. Amphibians are really sensitive creatures threatened by environmental conditions. The red-legged frogs in particular are threatened because while they rely on wetlands to breed, they spend most of their time in forest and our forests are decreasing in the Little Campbell watershed and consistently experiencing more pressure by urban development and agriculture development, climate change. These frogs rely on wetlands for breeding. The water level is really critical. They're facing predation threat from bullfrogs that are taking over these areas, as well as other invasive species like reed canary grass, which often prevents other native vegetation from growing there. We're working with partners to improve habitat around wetlands and to just increase forest cover in general. And there's an opportunity for everyone really to protect them and to improve habitat for red-legged frogs.